when Elemental released their Mega Menu, we got super excited. You can now have a menu, and whether you hover or click, you could decide which items were going to have a drop down. So when you hover over it, you get another menu, sub menu, images, accordion forms, uh, videos, add to cart products. It was so versatile in what you could do. But there was a big limitation as well. What if you wanted to have your menu items vertically? So when you hover, the items appear to the right of it. You could not do that unless you went and used a third party plugin. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it with a tiny bit of CSS code. And if I hover over here where we have our vertical list, can you see my items are appearing and I can still go over to the links as well. And this is another version where you have a slightly different bit of code. But again, when I hover over it and it could be clickable as well, because you just changed the setting that I will quickly show you, you can get your mega menu vertically with a tiny bit of code. Now, I must point out why have I got two versions here? Because this is a boxed width and this one is a full width and the code does change a little bit depending on what you're using. But I'm going to show you how to do that. By the way, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. If you're liking what you see so far and what's about to come next, smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe and go and share this video on every single WordPress forum that you know of. Let's start with the basics. I have a container over here where the width of it is set to be 700. And inside of there, I've gone and added in the menu widget. Now, this is your standard horizontal one, just to make sure you're aware of how you currently build it. So you drop in your menu widget. I've gone and added in two items. Normally, you would have changed a name here, but I was a little bit lazy. If your item is going to have a drop down, you ensure you've gone and enabled that. If not, it would have just been a standard link that could go to a menu anchor somewhere on your page, somewhere else, external website, wherever you want. And then when you've enabled the drop down, I then went and dropped in two child containers or containers per se. And then into there, there were some further child containers. And I went and decided what my whips were. So I got a container for 150, another child container for 250. And that's where I was dropping in my headings, icon list or images. And just to remind you of what it looked like, we just go back over to here. You can see here, I've got my child container number one, which is 150 pixel and child container number two, which was 250 pixel. So that was your standard kind of like horizontal mega menu, which a lot of you are going to be used to. If I go over to the drop down effect for the mega menu, this is where you could decide if it's click or hover. And what I'm going to show you with the vertical works on both. So don't assume, oh, it only works on hover. Nope, it works on the click as well. But as I've already mentioned, there is no facility over here for you to make this vertical. Look, if you go to layout, it's horizontal or drop down, which is what you would see if you were going to go for a mobile view or, or even on a desktop, you might want to go for that. But you are missing that vertical alignment. Now let's go over to this particular container, which is an exact copy of what we have above. The only difference is that this now has the CSS code applied. Look, if I just expand it, you can see we've got the menu, item one, item two, and it is the same layout, 150 and 250. So I wanted to have two child containers side by side. Because some people don't realize that when you do the mega menu, it's just like building anything on your page where you go and drop containers in. I'm going to click on the menu. I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I've given this a class name of vertical hyphen menu. The reason I've done that is because if you're not careful, the code will start to touch other containers and so make sure you give this a class name. And then now in custom CSS, that is the code. Do you know when I said it was a small bit of code? I was not lying. So vertical menu, which is obviously what we've given it as a class name, EN menu heading. These are your menu headings. And this is where I've said display flex, flex direction column, and I've given it a height of 150. The height 150 is important. You don't have to give it a height 150. You don't have to do that. But I did because it's important and it feeds into the next bit. Can you believe that that is all we had to do just to make it become vertical? I mean, I was sat there messing around with it and, and I thought, oh, I better put a bit of JavaScript in or do a code snippet or something. And then I messed around and I thought, oh, oh, yeah, that's all we got to do. The second bit is now for the econ inner and it, this relates to the vertical menu. If you don't have that, this is going to start touching every container on your website, which you don't want. The vertical menu econ inner. So that's going to now be touching these items down here. Well, uh, sorry, when I say touching item, it touched item one and item one, which were the two menu items. 
This is now doing margin top minus 150. So you can see now why I set the height to be 150. If I set the height to be 300, I would have done minus 300. Because even though it's vertical, it follows the same rule as what you had up here, where you have the headings and then the menu or the content appears below. So if you don't put minus 150, it will kind of sit down here, which I don't want. And then I've said max width 482. Let me explain why this was important. I'm going to go to menu, go to my content. I'm going to go to drop down and I'm going to just change this to be click. If I go and click over here, you can see the menu item is now very close next door to the end of my menu item over there. The reason for that is because if you have a bit of a space, as you move to hover over it, you might lose the hover because sometimes if it's not close enough, there's a bit of a gap and you don't want that. If you click, it doesn't matter how wide it is. Now, if you felt that was too close and you don't like that, well, that's easy to adjust for your particular website. You would go and add some padding to this container and make sure the color is applied inside of there because then you'll get the space around. I haven't done that because I just wanted to show you how close it was. But what if your titles are a different length? So I'm going to go back to my menu and I'm now just going to change this to be a shorter title like that. But when you have the click feature enabled, it doesn't matter. It will still remain there no matter how big the space is. But if you enable the hover, you will get the gap kick in. So this is a limitation of what I've currently got here at the moment. And to get around that, you just add in a little bit of extra code. So vertical menu, EN menu title, and then the whip one. 50. I'm going to leave that in the code in the video description in case you come across this problem. But I wanted to show you the problem before I went and dropped that code in. So if you have got varied lengths, just go and add in a width which you think is reasonable. And don't worry about it because look, the items there is still up against the, the last one over there. You can make it wider if you want. But look, if I go to menu one, look, can you see it's not disappearing when I go there? And I can still get over to my link item. So I'm just showing you how you can really tinker with this little bit of code to make it work exactly how you want. Back to this bit over here where we have 482. Let me show you what happens if I go and change that to be 582 and we hit publish and go back to our page. When I now hover, it's actually over the items. And this is where there is a little bit of like, you know, trial and error before you get it right. And don't worry about how big or wide your screen is, okay? Don't care if your screen is like 5,000 pixels wide, it will sit exactly where you've told it to sit. So if I pop that back to 482, it's absolutely fine for where I want it to be. But that was with the box width. Now, when you come to the full width, you have to change the code a little bit. Let me show you. So our main container over here is now set to be a full width of 100%. I know you're going to say that's not a full on 100%. That's because I went and added in a bit of padding. But what I'm going to show you, the same logic applies. This is exactly the same build in terms of our menu items and, you know, 150. Hope you can see that 150 width and 250 with our icon list and our images, etc. But when we go to the menu now and the advanced tab, uh, we have a class name of vertical menu number two because I wanted to have different CSS codes on here. I hope you kind of appreciate that. And when we go to the custom CSS now, the code up here is practically the same as what we had before. Flex column 150 transparent. The only reason why that is moving over to the other line is because obviously we've added in a number two there. So that makes it all column. This bit down here though, because it's a full width, the code I gave you here to move the items to be minus 150 and then, you know, the width of it and how it sat wasn't working very well at all. So I've had to apply this, but it's okay because it all sits within vertical menu number two, the margin top minus 100 and then margin left 160. And again, it doesn't matter where you are on the screen or how, sorry, I need to go to preview, but that's the other thing I should mention when you are building mega menus, it can be a little bit annoying because when you are trying to test out, you know, how things look, um, it won't show. You got to go to preview or go to a live version and you hover over there and it works. But hey, if you want to go in and mess around with the code, go for it because I'm pretty sure this can be made so much better. And I hope if we do have a super boosted version of this code, Elemental might go and add like a vertical feature into the mega menu. Because I do think it's a bit of a limitation and there's nothing worse than when someone starts to use this, realize they want a particular look and then you're having to go get a premium third-party plugin just to get the vertical menu 
or another plugin that's got loads of other bloat or add-ons added inside of it, which you don't always kind of need. I hope you like the approach. The code is in the video description. Go and play with it. Any questions, don't forget, stick them in the comments. Love to see how you're getting on with things. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain.